Okay, good morning, ladies. I think we're gonna go ahead and get started. Please feel free to keep eating. Um, I'm Amy. If you did not see the video last week, then you're like, who is this person? Um, I'm Amy. Um, if you didn't see the video, uh, hopefully you can still enjoy today because it last what I spoke about in the video is really kind of foundational to what we're gonna what we're gonna provide for you guys today. But while I have the opportunity, I'm gonna ignore you for just a minute because I do want to do a shout out to the Thursday people because I can't be here tomorrow because I'm working, um, and to the online moms. We might not see your faces, but we know who you are. And so anyway, just want to make sure everybody knows that they are welcome and being thought of. Okay, so really what we're going to do today is we're just going to give you the space to kind of put it all together. Um, if you didn't see the video and you just, well, whether you saw the video or not, one of the things we want you to know that we're going to be milling around. Um, if you have any questions, if you just want to chat, if you want to bounce an idea off of us, um, if you're skeptical about all this connecting in the word, all that, um, that's why we're here. Yes, we love to serve you coffee and food, but we're here for other reasons too. So... Um, we have th we have more resources out here on the floor. Um, some things that I had referred to in the video, like some Lectio Divina, um, the uh, reading the Bible chronologically. Those things are here for you, so you don't have to reach out. Um, on your handouts, there are two. There's two handouts. The the second page um, really is a list of resources from your leaders um, and from the other. Um, people that volunteer for Real Moms. One of the things that I have discovered with God is that I don't have to look too far. He always provides. And, you know, you don't have to go digging and, and talking to gurus or anything. Usually you can just stretch your arm out closest to the person next to you or the people you're serving with. So these the resources there are far from expansive. It's just some, some of our personal favorites. Um, and when it comes to looking at those, if you, if you start listening to a podcast and you're like, hmm, yeah, oh, this guy's not jiving. I don't know. Please think for yourself. You know, if something's not hitting you right, it's really okay. You're not going to offend anybody here. The importance is getting, connecting with, in a way that works for you. So it's okay to kind of dismiss some of that. Um, okay, and then the worksheet that's on the front. This is kind of what um, you can work through when we give you some time as you put together what it is that you're going to do. Um, and for those of you, because I, I do have a friend who sees blanks and it's like, I have to fill in every single blank and they feel incomplete if they don't. Um, this is not that kind of worksheet. I just tried to provide some questions for you to be able to ask yourself, okay, what am I going to do this? How's it, how am I going to set it up? What do I need to, to create the space to connect with God um, in his word? Now, what I would like for you to do, and I, I know you don't have pens now, but when you do have a pen or something to write with, and we can get those to you, is at the very bottom, I want you to write, when I can't work this plan, I will blank. Because we're moms, and the days blow up, and the weeks blow up, and our plans blow up. And um, some, so you can leave here today and be like, I got it. I'm going to work this. I know what I'm going to do. I can't wait to get started. And you go to get started and, you know, the kids wake up sick or your husband asks you to run more errands than you needed or whatever it is. Um, so put down there, when I can't work this plan, I will. It could be listen to worship music. It could be say a breath prayer. It could be I can't work this plan today. I'm going to give myself some grace. So have that in your back pocket, too. Um, okay, so I said there was more resources down here, um, and then uh, feel free to just go anywhere. Um, in this room, you can go out. It is nice outside if you wanted to go sit outside. We don't have chairs, um, but you can go out and just whatever it takes for you to get yourself organized, um, come up with your plan, um, and like I said, we'll be around to, to visit with you guys during this time, and we'll call you back um, together uh, as well, so you can finish discussing things in group. Um, and I think is it, I think it's on the back page of the worksheet that says Real Moms on the top. Those are what you're going to go through with your group. Um, one of the things I'd encourage you to do is just share what what was this like for you? Because for some people, the whole idea of connecting to the Bible might not sit well. Um, for others, it's been like, man, I've been trying to do this. Just share your feelings and then um, share with each other what your plan is. Uh, accountability is a great thing. So, like, next week, you're like, okay, how's it going for you? Oh, what did you think of this person or what you heard or um, whatever you're listening to? Um, and like I said, we'll be around um, to listen. What else is there? 
That's it. If you don't mind, though, I would love to pray for you um, before we let you go and just um, invite, invite God to be a part of all this with us. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, I am um, so grateful for the creativity and in your great plan of how you created moms, um, moms of all different kinds of backgrounds and philosophies and different desires and purposes, but yet you have called us um, to love little ones and love them through all the stages, and it is a great and holy gift that you give to us, and so I first off want to say thank you for that, and I thank you for these moms in this room, um, the moms that will be watching this tomorrow and those that will be watching it online. Um, I thank you that you are everywhere all the time, and so even as I'm praying now, it is still um, alive and active um, to those who are hearing it, and I, I, I want the women today, Lord, um, to feel the way I did last week um, after the all the snow and the terrible weather and um, being out in the driveway getting rid of all that snow and it was really really cold I heard so many birds and even though things seemed just frozen and bleak you still sent birds to sing over me to sing over the snow and and your word tells us that you rejoice over us with singing and so as we enter into this time for the for the moms to just find a way to work with you in a schedule that works for them and with resources that work for them lord would they would you make your voice be known to them help them to hear you singing over them and help them know how much you delight in them um, we give you glory and we give you honor and invite you into this time we thank you jesus in your name Amen. All right, that's it. You can feel free to mill about. And like I said, we'll be here if you have anything. And Kara or myself will call you back together when it's time for small group. You have about 25, 30 minutes. <laughs>